Hi, this is H Psychology, AQA Psychology, Paper 2, Research Methods, little revision video, this time on investigator affairs. So what are they and how do you reduce them? And this was for a specific question, which was this. Okay, another researcher in particular uh, past STEM believed that investigator effects occurred in a particular piece of research. So what are these and explain how the study could be modified to reduce these effects? Right, this was from June 18, the AS paper. Um, so first of all, you would want to define it, say how uh, a relevant way to modify in this particular study, and then ha explain how that reduces investigator effects. Okay, so remember that uh, um, investigator effects are something about the researcher, about the investigator, the researcher, that affects results. So in other words, their gender, or their race, or their manner, or their appearance, it's not that they are deliberately biasing, but they, there's something about them that will affect the results and act as a confounding variable. Okay, so affects results, confounds results. Okay, so I've just put that in, confounds results. So here it could be that the experiment was different in one of the conditions. Let's say, for example, that they are very emotional in one condition, but in they're a bit flustered in one condition, but they're calm in the other. Um, or, you know, you're using different experimenters in both conditions. Obviously, that's going to confound. Um, so, you know, something about them is different in one of the conditions, and that will affect the results. And then applying it to this particular study, this would mean that the children or the parents, let's say, would respond differently, which means results are due to the experimenter effect and not the IV, which will confound results.